morning, it's day 84. Didn't sleep very good last night. I'm like, my legs are covered with mosquito bites and so I was just so itchy. <laughs> Couldn't sleep, just tossing and turning. And then this morning getting ready, I like put my contacts in and then my left eye one all of a sudden like wasn't in my eye anymore. I don't know, just like fell out and I couldn't find it and it was a whole ordeal. <laughs> Today we are going over Benson Pass and I think we have a few water crossings and that's about it. Sun is shining, looks like another beautiful day. Yeah. Benson Pass. just come to Lake Benson and we went for a little dip. Oh, so good. So nice after a hot day swimming around. It's beautiful here. It's like, this is 0.4 miles off the PCT <laughs> and uh, seems like a very worthy stop, I recommend. Yeah. And we're about to go over CV Pass. And now we are walking down the other side next to this creek, Branchiera Creek. OMG. Help. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera. They're going to attack my hand. It's mosquito hell. They're on my hand. Ah. <sighs> Alright. It's felt like a really long day. I don't know. So my was really hurting my shoulders today. Just like feeling so heavy. And every day it gets lighter as I eat more food, but I think just like all the days of carrying a heavy pack is caught up with me. So I made mean, a lot of up and down today. But we only have one and a half more days till we can get rid of our bear cans. Yeah! Uh, we are getting rid of them at Kennedy Meadows North. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're actually doing it. And then I'm gonna get rid of so much stuff <laughs> and my pack's gonna be way lighter. That's the plan. Um, the other thing today, well, it was beautiful. A really nice, beautiful walk, but the mosquitoes are out full force. So we were like just a lot of times trying to avoid the mosquitoes. There are lots of mosquitoes, like crazy amounts of mosquitoes, more than I've ever seen. Oh, the other thing today is we had a lot of creek crossings um, we had our last like really big one. That one wasn't a big deal because there's a log. But then there were some unexpected ones that we didn't know. I don't think they're usually big deals, but then they were like pretty deep, like waist deep. 
pretty much had wet feet all day as usual and uh, I'm looking forward to a time when we can have dry feet again. That'll be fun. And we're almost done with the Sierra. I can't believe it. It feels surreal. I can't believe we've done it. But thinking back, it's been like a month and it feels like a long month, but a really good month. Anyway, we're gonna go to sleep now. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. It's day 86. We're like down in this valley and yeah, it's pretty cold down here. It's frost on the ground. I'm trying to do 20 miles today. So that was the original goal. Let's see if that happens. We are right now are headed to Dorothy Lake. So it's a little bit of a climb, a gradual climb, which is good because it'll warm us up. But otherwise, yeah, it's kind of dark and damp and cold. Feel it now every time I leave. It hits me hard and it cuts me deep. It's a beautiful sparkling blue lake and we are about to go over Dorothy Pass and then the sad part about that is that uh, that's the borderline of Yosemite National Park so we're leaving Yosemite no I love Yosemite it's so beautiful so apparently our scenery is about to change and then the next really exciting thing because we're hitting a really big milestone today. Yeah, yeah. I'm a thousand miles from happiness. Like a tap. A thousand miles from you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we made it 1,000 miles. Woohoo! It's a long way. <laughs> it's a far reach from you. came up all the way from this valley. <laughs> Basically it felt like going straight up snow and really loose rock. We didn't expect this, but all good. Incredible views from up here. Every mile on my mind leads to you. It leads to you. Every mile, every mile on my path leads to you. It leads We did our first 20 mile day in like a month <laughs> and we are camped up on top of this mountain with some epic views kind of nestled in the trees here because it's pretty windy. Last night with the bear cans. I'm a thousand miles from coziness. and we're on our way to Sonora Pass where we're hoping to catch the shuttle to Kennedy Meadows North. It really is crazy how much the scenery has changed uh, pretty much as soon as we left Yosemite. On this side it's just like all this rock and no trees just like these shrubs and these jagged rocks that look kind of like Arizona or Utah. And then yeah, back there is all the snowy mountains and yeah, crazy.
Mexico. Can it be that you're here with me? Let's start writing our own history. Let's take this road, oh, this winding, winding road. Let's just take the long way home. We made it to Kennedy Meadows North. We've been hanging out, we showered, Ooh. and uh, we did our resupply, and now we're about to turn in our bear cans. Nick and I rented ours from Kennedy Meadows South. Well, Purple Crown Outfitters, the whole thing was that we returned them here, so getting rid of them. Actually, I'm not sad at all, I'm very happy. Woohoo! <laughs> 2.2 pounds apparently. 2.2 pounds? Yeah, someone said 2.2 pounds is a lot of weight for this. Yeah. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> just keep going around, going around. You've got me running in circles. That's the status. We already ate one meal here. Oh, and there's a saloon. I can't keep both feet on the ground. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Are you eating it? Just keep going around. How exciting. We're not staying here, but we got a campground or a campsite like a quarter mile down the road, and it's $10 for hikers and horse people. True story. <laughs> but $10 for the site, so between four people, it's a good deal. Oh, and we're doing laundry. Oh, all the things. Just keep going around, going around. Where's people? <laughs> Just keep going around, going around. Hello, it's day 88. And we just left Kennedy Meadows North. We took the shuttle out back to the trailhead. I had a really nice day at Kennedy Meadows North. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it felt really homey and the prices were pretty cheap like for food and stuff and good shower. <laughs> yeah, it was a good stop for sure. Now we are planning on like three and a half days to South Lake Tahoe. Well, here there's not that much snow in this section so hopefully it allows us to do bigger mile days. We shall see. It's pretty cool out here. It's like jagged rock, green rolling hills and like patchy snow that looks like zebra. <laughs> Got me spinning in circles. 